The vision of Ezekiel was that he said, I saw a temple. Water was coming out from the threshold of the temple. The water was at the angle level of the angel's leg. Then the angel waited again for more water to come out of the temple. Because in the Old Testament, there were three compartments in the temple. The most holy place, the inner court, outer court. Between the most holy place and the inner court, there was a veil separating the two realms. Between the inner court and the outer court, there was a door. So, just imagine a body of water trapped in the temple, but the door was locked. So, the heavens, they were waiting for the entire water to come out. We don't know how long it took the angel to wait for all the oceans that were trapped inside the temple to fully come out. But one thing we know is that the water that was coming out of the temple did not spark any revival until it became a river that was overflowing. It is true that as a child of God, the veil has been done away with. You remember that when Jesus died, the veil of the temple was divided from top down. Now, the kingdom of God can flow from your spirit and this is why the Bible says, out of our belly shall flow rivers of living waters. And Jesus went further and said, this is seed of the Holy Ghost, which they that believe in him should receive. But there is a barrier that you have to deal with. It's called the door. And the New Testament, the door is the flesh. So when the Bible says the flesh lost against the spirit, what God is saying is that there is an agency called the flesh. And it will always prevent the exit of the governing influence of God from your spirit, from penetration treating the words around you. So it is possible for a man to have the Holy Ghost on the inside of him, but his generation will look at him and it will be as though he does not have power because the governing influence of the Holy Ghost is only trapped inside the spirit. You remember when Jesus and the disciples were together and the man said, this is my boy, he's been lunatic. I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cast him out. And in one word, Jesus cast out the demon. So when they asked Jesus, how come we could not cast out this demon? Jesus said, because of your unbelief. Unbelief is one of the manifestations of Mr. Flesh. Don't forget that Jesus already gave them the power over unclean spirits. That power wanted to cast out the demon. But this time around, there was a flesh that was standing in the way of that power. Jesus now went forward and said, How be it? This kind will not go except you fast and pray. It was not the kind of demon. It was the kind of unbelief. You don't need to fast and pray to deal with any class of demon, but you need to fast and pray to deal with your flesh. Listen to me. The sacrifice of Jesus took away the veil, but for the door to give way in your life, you must be the one to sacrifice. You're a man of God struggling with immorality. The Holy Ghost and his influence wants to pop out of you, but you have not sacrificed enough to take the flesh out of the way. If your spirit will gain ascendancy over the realms of the head, you must be intentional about dealing with this agency.